Across our city, corporations like Airbnb are turning thousands of houses and apartments into short-term rental accommodation. We're in the middle of a housing crisis where people can't find rentals in our city. And meanwhile, hundreds of homes are being used to make profit rather than to house local residents. The Greens are today announcing a proposal to reverse that trend. We want to encourage investors to switch from short-term rental accommodation back to long-term housing. Unfortunately, corporations like Airbnb are not being transparent about how many homes in Brisbane are actually being used for, for short-term rentals. We know that so far, Brisbane City Council has already identified 990 residences that are currently being used as short-term rentals on a long-term basis, but we think there are hundreds more across our city. In this building alone, Dozens of tenants were recently evicted so that apartments in this high rise could be converted into short term rentals. That's dozens of more people being forced onto the street competing for other rentals because existing housing stock is being repurposed as hotel rooms. So our message to investors and corporations like Airbnb is very clear. We want homes, not hotel rooms. The initiative we've announced today is to increase rates on Airbnb investment properties that are permanently being used as short-term rental accommodation. This proposal does not affect families that are temporarily renting their place out on Airbnb while they go traveling, and it doesn't affect people who are renting out a spare room on Airbnb in the home that they actually live in. This is exclusively targeted at investment properties that are being used as short-term rental accommodation on a long-term basis. We wanna charge a thousand percent the rates that would be ordinarily payable for an ordinary investment property. So to say that again, we are proposing a 10, 10 times rates increase for investors who rent their homes out on Airbnb rather than to long-term tenants. For an average inner city apartment, the annual rates bill might be around $2,000, but we're saying to investors that if you switch over to Airbnb, your rates bill might go up to as much as $20,000. This is a clear financial incentive for investors to continue keeping their homes on the long-term rental market. We estimate that this would lead to about a thousand homes across the city immediately transitioning back to long-term rentals, which means a thousand more people being able to find a long-term home and get off the street. We are not pretending that this is a panacea to solve the housing crisis. We're not suggesting that this will put drastic downward pressure on rental prices, and we're not claiming that this is a solution, solution to the housing affordability crisis. But we're simply saying that right now, there are existing homes that could be used to house long-term residents that are instead being used as short-term accommodation. We know that with the Olympics on the horizon, there will be increasing pressure and incentive for investors to shift to short-term rentals. So this is both a long-term planning decision and a short-term response to the immediate housing crisis. During the Sydney Olympics back in 2000, thousands of homes across Sydney were converted into short-term rentals and they never switched back. We don't want to see the same thing happening here in Brisbane. We want to ensure that homes that were designed and built to be long-term housing are used for that purpose. If there's a need for more short-term rental accommodation, we think the best way to deal with that is through purpose-built hotels, motels, backpacker accommodation, and traditional B&Bs. We don't want houses that would, and apartments that were designed to be long-term rentals converted into short-term rentals just so investors can make a buck and Airbnb can po pocket massive profits.